Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some non-blind buy worthy fragrances, okay? They're dangerous. Dangerous blind buys, they're not safe. Warning, warning, warning. Please get a sample, get a decant, scent split, do whatever you gotta do, but do not buy these fragrances blindly, all right? Now, to be fair, a lot of the fragrances on today's list are my favorite fragrances, okay? I'm not trying to be biased. Some of these fragrances I love to death. They are my ride or dies. They're my for life, uh, holy grail fragrances. But I'm smart enough to know that they're not blind by safe, not blind by worthy. Is it worthy or safe? They just not for the blind by, okay? And there's some fragrances on this list that... I have a decant too, or I was sent this fragrance, and it's not in my collection, but I have it in here just to show it to you for the video. Um, so yeah, we have like a range of different fragrances. We have a popular fragrance that a lot of y'all are gonna be like, sis, you trying to say that's not a safe blind buy? And I'm like, sis, no, it's not a safe blind buy because I listen to what my audience says, and although this fragrance right here is my ride or die, a lot of y'all are like, no ma'am, no Pam. <laughs> So, if you want to know about these non-safe, dangerous, blind buy fragrances today, just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you leave me a comment below. Leave me your scent of the day, leave me your likes, leave me your dislikes. Let's just get to know each other in the comments, okay? So, let's just jump right in because this video right here, like, I'm ready, Okay. Y'all, this is one of my favorite fragrances ever, okay? But I have to say to you, when I got this fragrance, it wasn't a love at first sniff. It was a hmm at first sniff. I'm gonna let you sit for a second because I don't know if I'm ready for you just yet. But y'all, today, this is one of my favorite fragrances ever. Bathe me in this fragrance drown me in this fragrance this fragrance is life okay and the fragrance in question is none other than delina by parfums and marley she's not a safe blind buy listen for you all that love delina we are here okay we are here however there's some people who do not love this break yes there's some people who do not love this fragrance i know trust me i know but it is what it is. So I have to let you guys know that if you haven't smelled Delina by Parfum Zamarli and you're always hearing, oh, she's that girl, she's that chick, oh, she's everything. She is. But, and however, she's not a safe blind buy. There is a rhubarb note up in here that y'all keep having in y'all's mouth, like, oh, the rhubarb is too tart, or the rhubarb, the rhubarb. Listen, it's the rhubarb that makes the fragrance for me. But, I do know that a lot of you guys do not like that tart rhubarb note. I don't know what rhubarb did to y'all. What the rhubarb did to y'all. Let's talk about it. Like, what has happened in your past with rhubarb that y'all are so against the rhubarb? <laughs> but y'all, this is not a safe flying by, okay? But let me tell y'all the notes. It opens up with bergamot. There's that rhubarb, honey. The rhubarb. The ever so famous rhubarb. <laughs> Nutmeg, Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, musk, cashmere, vetiver, and incense. Listen, this is one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection. Whenever I wear Delina, I get compliments. She's feminine, she's fruity, she's floral. If you love rose, you will love this fragrance, but it's not a safe blind buy. But if you wanna blind buy it, cause I can't stop y'all from doing what y'all wanna do. You can save 20%, okay, on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20 and get this fragrance because to me, like I said, she's that girl. She will always be that girl. I feel so sexy and feminine and just on top of the world when I'm wearing Delina, but I know she's not for everybody. So do not blind buy this fragrance, okay? Delina by Parfum Zamarli. All right, y'all. So the next two fragrances are double whammies. Love these fragrances to death, but they are not safe blind buys. Honestly, when I smelled one of them before, 
I wasn't feeling it. Like it literally, it didn't grow on me, but the dry down is what got me. Now I love it from the opening to the dry down because now I understand this fragrance. I wasn't understanding her before, okay? But now we have an understanding. So Gris Charnel Extrait and the original Gris Charnel. Now, the extrait is a little bit more smoky, a little bit more woody, but it smells just like this, but more intense version of this. None of them are safe blind buys. Do you hear me? This actually leans a little bit more masculine to me than the original. So let's talk about the original real quick. When I got this fragrance, I wanna say maybe like two years ago, I sprayed it on my wrist and immediately I was turned off. I felt like it smelled like dirt. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was my body chemistry. What was I going through that day? I didn't understand the fragrance. Y'all, this is one of my favorite fragrances today, but it is not a safe flying by because everybody will not understand the masterpiece that is Gris Charnel. This fragrance is almost like a tea fragrance, but it's a little spicy. It's creamy. It has a sweet fig note. This is everything, okay? You can layer this with other fragrances. You can wear it on its own. It is beautiful. It's one of those Bosch Chick, alpha female, I'm feeling myself today type fragrances. But it's also comforting. It's also sexy. This is everything. So in the Gris Charnel, the original, it opens up with fig. There's black tea, cardamom, iris, bourbon, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka bean. You can also save 20% on soavantgarde.com on either one of these fragrances, both of them, but do not blind buy, unless you just like the thrill of blind buying, because I know a lot of y'all are just like so excited with the thrill of blind buying, but I feel like it's my duty to let y'all know that these fragrances aren't blind buy safe, they're dangerous. Okay, and in the extrait, we have cardamom, which it's heavy on the cardamom. There's fig, black tea, iris, bourbon. The notes are the same, but it's just more intense in the extrait. So definitely, y'all, the Gris Charnel original and the Gris Charnel extrait, do not blind buy. Okay, so next we have a fragrance that one of my lovely, lovely subscribers sent me a decant of. I have a 10 mil decant of Tamine Peregrina. Now, this fragrance is very popular. I don't know if it's still popular because y'all know how they do in these YouTube streets. One week, something is super duper popular. Everybody needs it in their life. They're all obsessed with it. By next week, they've moved on to the next one. Okay, so I'm not sure how popular this is right now. But this was very popular at one point. And y'all, it, it doesn't smell bad. It's It smells good, but it's not a safe flying by. Okay, now for me... I was so excited about this one right here because of the notes. I'm about to tell y'all the notes. You hear damask rose, you hear jasmine, you hear gardenia, you hear lily of the valley. You're like, oh, it's floral. I love florals. Then you hear caramel and vanilla. So you think, mm, a floral gourmand maybe? Like what? And then there's amber, ylang ylang, powdery notes and musk all notes that i love there's no notes in this fragrance that i'm like nah it's a no for me like i don't like that note these notes speak to me i love fragrances with white florals and rose and caramel and vanilla and musk but in this fragrance it doesn't smell like how the notes read like i said it doesn't smell bad but it's not for me and i also feel like it's not a safe flying by, but it does smell good. You know what I mean? Like it smells good, but it smells more on the masculine side. It feels like it's missing something sweet. Something sweet is missing from this fragrance in my opinion, but it is a beautiful scent. It's just not one that I personally want to own a full bottle of. Now, the Blue Heart, Blue Heart is beautiful. I love that one. But Peregrina, I was expecting something different. I was expecting to smell more vanilla, smell more caramel. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's something in this fragrance. It smells like there's patchouli in this fragrance, but it's not listed. It could be, you know? And I don't even get any powderiness on my skin. It just smells like a heavy floral patchouli fragrance that's missing the vanilla and the caramel. So for me, although the bottle is so super cute, and the color of the bottle is everything. This is not a safe blind buy. It is a dangerous blind buy, okay? Like I said, it's missing a little sweetness. 
but it is a pretty scent. So Tamine Peregrina. All right, y'all. So this is Chinatown by Bond number nine. How y'all be disrespecting this fragrance? Y'all are lucky we still friends, okay? Period. Like, y'all be going in on this fragrance. I don't know what Chinatown did to y'all, but this right here is a beautiful masterpiece. I love this fragrance, okay? A lot of people don't really speak about it that much, but this one right here is beautiful. It's a creamy, peppery, spicy tuberose fragrance that is freaking incredible, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all, the tuberose in this fragrance is a little rubbery. It's not like a bubble gummy sweet tuberose, but it's something so super sexy about Chinatown that I absolutely love. But she is not a safe blind buy, all right? Judging from what y'all say about this fragrance and just me smelling it and knowing like, I mean, I love it. I'm obsessed with it, but I guess I can see someone feeling like, Ooh, it's different because this is different it's very unique i mean there's so many notes in here there's peach there's bergamot gardenia there's honey there's tuberose there's orange blossom patchouli vanilla cedarwood cardamom guyac wood this fragrance is very unique nothing that i've ever smelled like in my fragrance journey nothing that i've ever smelled reminds me of chinatown nothing smells like chinatown you've never ever heard anyone say oh this reminds me of such and such or i get this vibe from it no this fragrance right here stands on its own but although i love it I, girl you know i love you it's just not a safe blind buy very dangerous blind buy don't get fooled by this beautiful bottle like the bottle is so pretty but it's not for everybody, okay? Chinatown by Bond number nine. All right, so the next fragrance makes me wanna tussle with y'all. Like, y'all are my friends and I love y'all and everything, but sometimes I wanna tussle because y'all be doing this one dirty right here. And it's Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall. Listen, 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 Linda, all right? This fragrance is a masterpiece to my nose, okay? I love it. However, she's dangerous. Not a safe flying by because you're going to hear, oh, this is the rose of all roses. It's a spicy rose fragrance and it's beautiful, but I have to be in the mood for this fragrance. You see, I got the little bottle and my dent isn't that significant because you don't need a lot of this one right here. This one right here is potent. This one right here is very loud. This one right here is a beast mode, beast mode, beast mode fragrance, but it is a spicy rose fragrance and a lot of y'all do not feel the portrait of a lady all right and it's understandable it is understandable i get it i get it but i'm just here to let y'all know that if you see me talking about this fragrance and i'm like oh it's so sexy and so beautiful it is to me but it's not a safe one this one has turkish rose raspberry black currant there's cinnamon clove patchouli sandalwood incense and broxen benzoin and white musk it's a more mature rose if that makes any sense this is not um roses musk by montal this is not zelina rose like this is the the more mature more sophisticated rose but i love it y'all this smells so beautiful but like i said buyer beware she ain't safe portrait of a lady by frederick mall oh my goodness another one of my loves that you guys do not like and i understand i get it but this fragrance is a masterpiece ani by nishane is not a safe blind buy okay you'll hear people say things like the beautiful vanilla fragrance and it has ginger and it opens up green and it smells so heavenly and angelic and it's beautiful and it's compliment getting and all of that is true trust me when i tell you this is a beautiful fragrance but it's not safe a lot of women on my channel buy this fragrance and feel like it smells better on their husband they feel like it smells too masculine on them but they've never said it was a bad fragrance they just feel like it leans a little bit more masculine. Now, in my opinion, I love smelling feminine. Like I'm a feminine female, so I love feminine scents, but it does lean a little bit more on the unisex side, but it's not masculine in my opinion because I do not like to smell masculine. I just understand this fragrance and I feel like a lot of people don't understand it, but it's not a safe blind buy, okay? 
ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, black currant, cardamom, Turkish rose. Now, you can purchase this fragrance from Soil Avant Garde and save 20%, but I would suggest purchasing the Discovery set also from Soil Avant Garde and you can save 20% on that as well. Get the Discovery set. There's all the samples of 100 Silent Ways and Hachivad and Vain and Naive, all of the Nashani fragrances. I don't think you should blind buy this. You're gonna hear a lot of creators on YouTube talk about it and say how beautiful it is, how bomb it is. It's a beautiful, sexy vanilla fragrance and they're not lying. Okay, we are not lying, but it is not a safe blind buy. All right, Ani by Nishani. Next up, we have one of the most ornate bottles in my collection, and this is by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is her Scent of a Dream fragrance. This is a beautiful, lemony, peppery, floral fragrance that's so creamy in the dry down. It's so exotic, so unique, so different. Very, very different but a little too different for some people. Let me tell y'all, when I got this fragrance, well, before I got this fragrance, I read reviews on Nordstrom.com because I was about to blind buy it from Nordstrom.com. The bottle alone was like speaking to me and it has like florals and I'm like, I love florals for spring. Like, I wanna try this. It's a beautiful bottle, it's floral. How bad could it be? Y'all, the reviews on this fragrance are horrible. <laughs> horrible, okay? People do not like this fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that you either love it or you hate it. If you notice in these YouTube streets, you do not see a lot of people talking about this fragrance. Do you see anybody really talking about this fragrance? Not really, right? Because it is just that different. But I am obsessed, okay? This is a beautiful scent. I love it, like I said, for the spring and summer. It's so perfect, so feminine, but yet very, very unique. But not... I repeat, not a safe blind buy, all right? Dangerous, warning, warning, don't blind buy this. Scent of a Dream by Charlotte Tilbury. Next on the list by Valentino, Donna born in Roma, or so she said she was born in Roma. Where were you born, girl? <laughs> because I don't think he was born in Roma. You can tell me, tell me later. Valentino, Donna born in Roma, intense. Now, if y'all follow this channel, y'all know I love Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It's one of my favorite designer fragrances. I don't care what anybody says. It is a beautiful scent. I don't care how bougie my collection is. I will always have that fragrance. I love it, all right? So when I heard they were coming out with an intense version of that, I was like, hmm, more bourbon vanilla, more black currant. I need this. I thought it was gonna be more intense of that. This is different. It's different, but I will say it is growing on me because I still have it, as you can see. It is growing on me. I think what my issue is with this fragrance is that it's not an intense version of Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It's something else with the DNA of Born in Roma. Does that make any sense? This is more... There's no sweetness in this fragrance. It's more like a woody. It's just something. For me, I have to layer this fragrance to make it sweet because it's missing something. It's missing something, okay? Not a safe blind buy. This has bourbon vanilla, amber, jasmine, and benzoin. This is very, very heavy on the amber. I mean, it has vanilla and benzoin, and benzoin is more sweet and takes on like a vanilla type accord. So I thought it was gonna be very, very sweet. I thought it was gonna be sweeter than the original, but y'all, it's not. It's very jasmine heavy. If you love a jasmine scent, you will love this, and very amber heavy as well. I feel like it needs more sweetness, but you may like it. However, it's not a safe blind buy. So if you're expecting a sweeter, more intense version of Valentino Donna Born in Roma, Get that out your head. Or get it out your head because you're going to be disappointed like I was because I feel like that was my issue. I was expecting Valentino Donna Born and Roma on steroids, but that's not what I got. I got this. Um, but it's 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 nice, but not a safe blind buy. All right. Donna Born and Roma intense. Next up by Initio, we have Absolute Aphrodisiac. Y'all, this is a beautiful scent. Okay. But. When you hear people talk about this fragrance, they say, oh, it's such a beautiful, sweet vanilla fragrance. And it is a vanilla fragrance. I've had this last year in a vanilla fragrance video. 
I love it. You guys know I love initial fragrances, period. Initial fragrances just... They just gel with my body chemistry. I love them all, okay? Even if I don't have them in my collection, I've smelled them and I can appreciate the beauty that is in the juice in these fragrances. But this one right here, it's very animalic and can lean masculine. So if you hear someone saying, oh, vanilla, vanilla, best vanilla, and you're thinking, oh, I love vanilla, it's sweet. You know what I mean? Like I can do vanilla, vanilla is one of my favorite notes. It's different, okay? It's a different type of vanilla fragrance. Like I said, it's animalic, it's very musky and it's really not that sweet. It's sweet, but not in a vanilla 28 type of way. You know what I mean? So buyer beware, do not blind buy this fragrance. It opens up with white flowers. It's amber, vanilla, and musk. But y'all, this is so freaking sexy. It's so sexy. I love it. It's just a very sexy, smoky, musky, kind of powdery vanilla fragrance, but I have to say, like, it's not a safe blind buy. Absolute aphrodisiac by Initio. Next up by Memo, we have Sintra. And if y'all remember my video that I did in 2021, I did a holy grail video, like all the fragrances that are my holy grails, like they're masterpieces. This is a holy grail for me, all right? But it is not a safe blind buy. You hear orange blossom and, oh, it reminds me of love, don't be shy and you know all these things but it has a pedigree note in the opening that is very very green it kind of has that same type of green vibe as ani in the opening it kind of smells like limey and like black pepper in a way but y'all for me for your girl this right here is everything okay i love Sintra. This fragrance is so unique. It's like love don't be shy, but on steroids, but in a better way because it's not super, super sweet. Like I said, for me, that green opening is perfect, but I know that it can be off-putting for some of you guys because I've told you guys to get this fragrance, like some of you, and you guys have gotten it and you're like, oh, I, I do like it, but it's just the opening. I can't get past the opening or I love it in the dry down. I hate the opening. So you have to love that neroli pedigree type opening before you can get to the sweet orange blossom marshmallowy type of scent. So it opens up with neroli, pedigree, bergamot, there's jasmine, there's milk. But in this fragrance, it's not like the milk in this fragrance, it's not um super lactonic. Like I don't get lactonic vibes from this. I get more creamy, but it's not milky. If that makes any sense because I personally Milky could go real right or real wrong for me, okay? But I haven't heard anybody complain about the milkiness in this fragrance. I've heard them complain about the pedigree. Um, there's rose, there's cinnamon, there's marshmallows, there's Madagascar vanilla, there's caramel, musk, and cedar. Like I said, y'all, this is a masterpiece. This is beautiful. I absolutely love it. But buyer beware, it is not safe. Memo Sintra. Next up, I'm holding up what looks like an empty bottle, but I promise you it's not. This is Killian's Angel Share. Y'all... It has my heart. This fragrance has my heart. Another one that's a masterpiece to me. It smells like a boozy apple pie. Oh my goodness. Like honestly y'all, this fragrance, like how could y'all not love this? But I get it, I get it. But I mean, this is just everything to me y'all. It's so sexy, it's so sweet, it's so gourmand. This is a fragrance that when I spray myself, I wanna bite myself. Okay, like this smells edible to me, but still smells like perfume, but it's not a safe flying by. It has cognac, cinnamon, tonka, oak, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. For me, this is a masterpiece. This is a holy grail. This is a forever will be in my collection. I will forever be drenching myself in angel share. I mean, it's a must have. Definitely try to get your nose on it first, but don't blind by this, all right? Angel share by Killian. Next up by Electimus, we have Imperium. And y'all, if you know this channel, y'all know I did a whole dedicated video to this fragrance. Because when I got this fragrance and I smelled it, I was like, wow, this is a masterpiece. This is a holy grail. I love this. Like, I love this so much. And I did a whole video and I was like, y'all need this vanilla fragrance. It is everything. Spread it to the world. Everyone needs to smell like Imperium by Electimus. Y'all was like, um sis 
Electimus Imperium weird. Like, no. <laughs> so this is not a safe flying by. Y'all have been telling me that this fragrance leans masculine on y'all. I mean, I sent this fragrance to Simply Aisha, who has a channel here on YouTube. I've been following her for so many years. Love her channel. She loves masculine, uh, unisex, leaning masculine scents. I sent this to her thinking that this was going to be perfect for her. And she did a video saying that she liked it, but she felt like it smelled uh, masculine on her. And I was like, well, damn, she's known to like fragrances that are more unisex leaning masculine. So if she feels like this leans masculine, then what the hell? There's bergamot, coriander, rose, lily, saffron, jasmine, uh, neroli, tuberose, amber. Like y'all, honestly, I still love this fragrance. It kind of reminds me of Nishani Ani mixed with a little bit of Aventus. It smells like there's pineapple in this fragrance, but there's no pineapple note in this fragrance, but it's just something very special about it. It is a beast. It lasts forever. For me, it's a unisex scent, but it doesn't lean masculine. But I mean, everybody's body chemistry is different. Everybody interprets fragrances differently. So I say, do not blind by this fragrance. But if you wanted to, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Electimus Imperium is a beautiful scent, but it's not a safe blind buy. All right, so the next fragrance on the list, one of you DM'd me, you know who you are, and you asked me, what do I think about this fragrance? Have I ever smelled it? You wanna blind buy it? And I said, sis, no. I said, sis, stop. Do, don't you do that. <laughs> Desert Suave by Laquise Imagineers. Now, the juice in the bottle is so beautiful. It's yellow. I'm sure it'll look beautiful in your collection. But y'all, this is not a safe blind buy, okay? This smells sweet out the nozzle. Like you do this and you're like, oh, it's so sweet. Like it's something special about this. And then you spray it on your skin and it smells like just a patchouli bomb exploded all over your skin. All right, like this is not a safe blind buy. It's so not safe that I don't have it in my collection, okay? I was sent this fragrance by the fragrance group. I sprayed it, smelled it, sprayed it, and immediately, immediately gave it to Bay because this smells very, very masculine, okay? On a man, this is sexy, this is beautiful, this is everything. But for me, it's a hard no, a hard pass, and it's not a safe blind buy. In this fragrance, we have dates, sesame, orange blossom, cardamom, cedar, mandarin, and rose. The notes don't sound super masculine or anything like that. There's not even any patchouli in this fragrance, but on my skin, it smells like a patchouli bomb. I don't know what it is, y'all, but this fragrance is not a safe blind buy, okay? Desert Suave by Laquise Imagineers. All right, y'all, so the next fragrance on the list had the internet all ablaze between TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and any other social media platform. This fragrance had either a cult following, like, yes, you finally gave us what we asked for. Or the other girls was like, nah, people getting that fragrance for free and they just saying they like it, but they really don't like it. Like, how y'all telling us what we like? And the fragrance in question is by Kayali, and I gotta look at it. It's Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli Number 64. Y'all, for me, for me, this is a beautiful fragrance. Yes, you smell the patchouli. No, you're not getting that creme brulee right away. It's in the dry down. When you first spray this fragrance, you're gonna get oud, you're gonna get patchouli. It smells like a Middle Eastern beast mode fragrance. But y'all, the creaminess in the dry down from the sweetness of the vanilla and the creme brulee, this fragrance is everything, okay? Super powerful, super beast mode, but it is not a safe blind buy, all right? It's not, especially if you're somebody that's not used to niche fragrances and niche scents, and you have the whole entire Kayali collection because you may have Vanilla 28, which is so super sweet. You may have Eden Juicy Apple and you know all the other Kayali fragrances that kind of smell like designer fragrances. But this one right here smells completely different. Like Mona was like, okay, I'm about to give y'all some money. Like I'm about to give y'all the royalty of Vanilla 28. And that's what she did with this fragrance. But the girls were not feeling it. So I'm here to tell y'all, do not blind buy this fragrance. It is not a safe blind buy. However, I love it. 
it is everything. The notes are on the back. So it opens up with vanilla, there's golden rum. I forgot to tell y'all, it's a boozy fragrance as well. There's creme brulee, there's brown sugar, there's royal oud and sugared patchouli. So when you hear the notes, you're thinking, oh, it's sweet. It's probably gonna be like vanilla 28, but much, you know, more powerful, but as sweet as vanilla 28. And it's not like that. So it's not a safe flying by, but I absolutely love it. Vanilla Royale sugared patchouli number 64. Not a safe flying by. All right, y'all, so we made it to the last fragrance on today's list. Not a safe flying by, fire beware, but I don't care. This fragrance is that girl, that chick. She is everything. Covert by Fragrance Dubois. Okay, I love this fragrance. Like, what's deeper than love? Like, is it obsession? Is it like I'm infatuated? Like, what is it? Because this juice right here, I mean, it sends me. It sends me all the time. Whenever I wanna feel super sexy, all right? Whenever I just wanna stand out and make a statement with my fragrance, I don't wanna have to say too much, all right? I'm reaching for Cavort by Fragrance Dubois. Now, it's not for everybody, all right? You're either gonna love this fragrance or hate it. Don't try with the fragrance, y'all. Like if you tried and tried and tried again, if the fragrance isn't working for you, it's just not working for you, okay? Like there's so many more fragrances out in the world that you can, you know, smell and it'll be a love at first sniff. You don't have to keep playing with the fragrance because other people like it. Like, okay, we like the same fragrances, so why don't I like it? It's okay for us to like different fragrances. We're not all gonna like the same things. Me, however, on the other hand now, <laughs> I love this fragrance. The notes in this fragrance, it opens up with saffron. There's divana, geranium, cinnamon, rose, orange blossom, ylang ylang, jasmine, patchouli, sandalwood, incense. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. But buyer beware, it is not for everybody, okay? Get a sample, try to get your nose on it. If you smelled it before and you wanna get it, you can save 20% using my discount code on soavanguard.com, the great 20, but it's not a safe flying by. Cavort by Fragrance Dubois. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some fragrances that you have in your collection that are not safe flying bys. Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.